Now, to color my water and sky, my water I'm going to do blues and greens. I'm going to mix my colors together a little bit to make it a little more interesting. I'm going to start by doing some blue-green color here. Notice how I'm going in that same shape that I drew my lines with my marker. This makes it look like there are waves in the water. It makes it look more realistic than just coloring it in. Okay. Now keep adding my waves. Notice my waves back behind are a lot smaller. Then I'm going to take another color blue and mix it in. Now you don't have to color in all the water if you don't want to. It may actually look more realistic if you leave parts of it white since the water does turn white when either the sun hits it directly or when there is foam because of the waves, okay? So you can continue to color the water as much as you want. I'm going to leave mine like that for now. Next I'm going to do my sky. Now. I'm going to do my sky a whole bunch of different colors, okay? Because when the sun reflects off of all of the ice, it can make some beautiful colors in your sky. So, I'm going to make my color, my sky multicolored. I'm going to pretend that this is my sun over here. I'm going to draw my sun setting. So I'm going to color it down here. And then I'm going to draw some yellow around it going outwards. Okay, so see how my sun is really dark and then around it I made it a little bit lighter. I'm going to next add some pink. You can add some orange or some red, any color that you would like. See I'm making a really pretty, brightly colored sunset here. Okay, I'm going to add a purplish color now. Feel free to add any colors you want into your sunset. And then finally, I'm going to have it fade into blue because the sky is typically blue. Okay. And here I go. Here's my Antarctica drawing. Um, whenever you are finished and happy with it, I'd love to see it. So, have fun, guys.